this video, we're gonna talk about how to get nasty movement on your slider. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, I got close to 500 videos now and I got a bunch more coming out soon. So I want you to be notified every time I upload one. So take a quick second, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload them. Got some great stuff coming. But the question today on the website about pitching is from Evan Campbell. When I throw my slider, I can't get any horizontal break. Um, okay, so here's the thing, Evan. You don't want horizontal break. You don't want break this way. You don't want to throw a slider that moves this way. Why? Okay. First of all, think of a hitter. When he's swinging a bat, where's his bat going? Right? He's on a horizontal plane or he's going to be tilted a little bit this way, right? But he's on that plane. So if your ball's moving this way for a righty, you're throwing that ball on the same plane of his bat. You're making it easier to hit. What you want to do is create depth. You want to have vertical movement, not horizontal movement. So it's good that you're not getting any horizontal movement. Um, you want downward movement. The more downward movement, the more depth you can have, the better off you're going to be. Now, I want you to listen to me. I don't want you to think I'm just some Joe Schmo sitting in his office telling you how to throw a slider. Um, I was ranked number one slider in the entire San Diego Padres organization. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about when it comes to throwing the slider. I also had a pretty nasty sinker. I was ranked number two fastball in the entire organization. So uh, when it comes to the slider, depth is so much more important than horizontal movement. Okay, trust me on that, trust me. Work on getting that depth. Work on staying through that ball and coming down, okay? Getting that downward movement. You're gonna miss a lot more bats, and even if the bats do find them, they're gonna be hitting the ball into the ground. Weak ground balls, that's what you want, okay? Same thing goes for me. My fastball was a sinker. I wanted to get depth on that pitch, not two seam movement, not sideways movement, but more depth, okay? I got a great program. My advanced sinker and slider training program, okay? Where I tell you all about how to throw both of those pitches, how I used the sinker to get drafted, how I dominated the SEC with the uh, sinker, how I learned my slider, um, how to dominate hitters with the slider. I was MVP uh, of my first full season in pro ball because of these two pitches, swing and miss pitches. Um, so I definitely want you guys to check that out if you're interested in throwing a sinker and a slider. Okay, Best thing for me was ever learning those pitches made my career, made my pitching career. Um, so if you want, you can click this image here. That'll take you to learn some more. You could also click down in the first link in the description box, or if you're on your mobile device, you can click this over here. All three of them will take you to that page. You can check it out, learn more about it. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll answer them just like I did this one. Let me know what is your favorite pitch. Do you, first of all, do you throw a sinker and do you throw a slider? And out of those two, if you do, out of those two, which one is your favorite? Leave it below. I'll talk to you guys in the comments below.